everybody. Jeff Dayton here at Litchfield Country Club in beautiful Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about chipping the ball around the greens. Many times we just miss the green and we're a few feet off. And depending on how the grass is growing around the greens, it's not always the best option to putt. Sometimes they're better off to take a wedge or a nine iron, even eight iron, and chip the ball over that rough grass onto the green and let it roll to the pin. I've found there's three main ingredients to a good chipping stroke. And I'd like to demonstrate those to you now. If you've played golf enough, you've all had your share of flub shots around the greens. Obviously the worst, worst two shots you can hit around the greens is the shot where you hit behind the ball and, and snub it a couple feet. The other shot being where you kind of catch the ball a little too thin and it goes flying all the way on the other side of the game. Well, I'm here to give you three tips to help you eliminate those shots and get consistent chipping to where not only are you confident in your ability to get the ball close, but you occasionally feel like you can hold certain shots. First of all, most, bat, most poor chips are caused from poor weight distribution or too much hands. The muscles in your hands are very small and they're able to move very fastly, so you're, they're harder to control during a swing. So if at all possible, we want to create a, a, a swing where our arms swing and the hands just stay very quiet. So first of all, we're going to make sure we have an arm swing, keeping the hands silent, and we do not want any flipping of the club. There's three things we're going to do in our setup to make sure we get the ball on the club face first, then nip the ground. First of all, we're going to play the ball back in our stance. You see a lot of, a lot of amateurs play the ball too far forward, and then you're in a position where you're going to be coming up on the ball, and that'll send the ball flying across the green. So we're going to have the ball back in our stance. We're going to have our weight, and this is for right-hand golfers, our weight favoring our left side. It would be just the opposite for left hand. The weight favoring the left side, and notice my stance is very close. I don't want a lot of leg action in this swing, so I want my legs very quiet, and I've got my stance slightly open because I want to make sure when I'm leaning on my left side, I have better balance. If I was square toed and leaning forward, my balance would be a little more wobbly. But I'm going to widen my base by pulling this foot back, and then when I lean forward, I'll be very balanced. So I've got my ball back in my stance, have my weight forward. The third thing I'm going to do is make sure my hands are slightly ahead of the ball. So this one's sure that we catch the ball first, then the ground, not hitting behind the ball. So as we set up, we align our club first with the line we want to start the ball on. Make sure it's off our big toe on our right foot. Weights forward, hands slightly forward. Then as we take our stroke, we're going to make sure we don't take it back with the hands. We just keep the arms in one piece and swing back with the arms in one piece, keeping our weight on our left side and following through. So when we, when we follow through, make sure our, our hands don't release. We don't want the club releasing past our hands. We'll make sure we nip the grass, keep the arms swinging, don't let the hands. The two things that can mess us up the most are using our hands and wrists and letting our weight get back to our right side. Remember your three keys to setting up? Pick your spot on the green, try to land them all that spot and let it roll through the hole. Remember, the best way to get better at this game is to practice. But not just practicing, but practicing the proper techniques. So come see me, Jeff Dayton, at Litchfield Country Club, and you'll be sure to get some quality golf instruction.